and welcome to Hearthstone Top 5. My name is Benjamin Hero and today we're going to be looking at the top 5 biggest surprises of the Whispers of the Old Gods meta. What does that mean? It means we're going to be looking at the top 5 surprises that have happened to the game since the release of the Whispers of the Old Gods expansion. Needless to say, <laughs> you will be surprised. <laughs> Alright boys and girls! Let's get started! At number 5 we have Bloodhoof Brave. Bloodhoof Brave came to number 5 spot by surprisingly being a good card. When this card was unveiled in the expansion, it had everything going against it. It had low starting attack, it gets destroyed by Stampeding Kodo, and it gets hard countered by Cabal Shadow Priest. So it wouldn't have surprised anyone if this card in the end never saw any play. And then, as usual, when people actually started to play the card, they realized just how powerful Bloodhoof Brave can be. It is essentially a 4 mana 5-5 five five with perfect synergy with Ravaging Ghoul, with Whirlwind, with Battle Rage, with Armor Smith, and with Green Patron! And the free attack gain after it gets damaged can make it incredibly awkward to deal with the card. So in the end, the surprising useful ability of Bloodhoof Brave earned itself at the number 5 spot as one of the biggest surprises to come out of this expansion. At number 4 we have the Faceless Summoner and he is on the list because it turns out he is not actually OP. When Noxious unveiled a card in the expansion, everybody was talking about how it's going to be the new Shredder 2.0 because on paper Faceless Summoner has ridiculous value. You can get cards such as Flame Waker, Bram Bronze Beard and King Mukla. Faceless Summoner is an incredible card but it is just a good mage card because Faceless Summoner lacks the great synergy it has with other mage cards. For example, let's take a look at another expectedly OP card such as the Frame Reef Faceless aka the 4 mana 7 7. The 4 mana 7 7 works great with cards such as Tunnel Trog because it powers it up. It also works great with cards such as Lava Shock and Eternal Sentinel because it unlocks the overloaded mana crystals. Whereas the Faceless Summoner doesn't work too well with other mage cards that are currently available so essentially it is just a pile of stats and some Temple Mage list even began to cut the card. They have begun to cut a 6 mana 5-5 five five that summons a random free drop. That's crazy! <laughs> that is crazy! So in the end, Fader Summon is number 4 because it is just good and not OP. Speaking of overpowered, here's a card that nobody expected to be good and that is the Dark Shire Councilman. When this card was unveiled in the Whispers of the Old Gods expansion, people were laughing at the 1-5 stat line. Then this happened. And then our forbidden ritual to buff it. And hit face for it. People stop laughing. Needless to say, Darkshire Councilman turned out to be a zoo staple. He was such a big surprise, I even dedicated a whole video to the guy. The surprising playability of Darkshire Councilman earned him a place at number 3. At number 2, we have the Infested Torrent. Now why is such a mediocre card on the list and at number 2? Well, it turns out people are actually playing the damn cards. You heard me right, ladies and gentlemen, people are actually playing the Infested Torrent. People are putting this card into their decks. <laughs> In one of my earlier videos, I made complete fun of this card. If the old gods is any indication of what kind of neutral torn minions we're going to be getting in the future, I think I'll speak for everyone when I say Mr. Sludge Belcher 
Soldier, you will be missed. And I wasn't alone. Many of us did the exact same. The card is not very good. In constructed. It's difficult for you to imagine this being a, uh, a card that sees a lot of competitive play. I'm not going to see this in constructed. Um, just, 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 just not good. But it turns out, it turns out that when you're playing ends off, having a taunt being resummoned is actually pretty good. <laughs> it's actually pretty all right. So the fact that the, the infested torrent even saw some legit play, even in tournaments, is the reason why it is on number two on this list. At number one, we have Choga. Everyone expected Choga to at least see some play. Realistically, this card will be tried out in Reno Jackson, and then we'll see whether or not it's good from there. Warlock Spells might not be the best, but at least you can combo Cho Gao with cards such as Siphon Soul. Say a Siphon Soul, which would effectively allow you to kill an opposing minion for just the cost of three life. Cho Gao has seen absolutely no play. In a world where Infested Torrent sees play and the Evolved Cobalt is winning tournaments, well, Does that do it? It might be. Is that it? it? I think it is. Wow. It is indeed. Wow. Whoa, the we finally saw Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, this whole time we were kind of perplexed oh, wow. about why he it's was running perfect. that card. We're, we're counting our outs? Oh, yeah. Cobalt wow. never comes into play. Yeah, no. <laughs> no one suspects the evolved card. Oh, wow. Great. It is absolutely baffling that Cho Gao has seen no play. Uh, maybe people just forgot about the card, or like with Khan Blood Hoof, it would take a couple of expansions until Cho Gao would actually see some play. The fact that Cho Gao has eventually disappeared from Hearthstone is by far the biggest surprise to come out of the whispers of the old gods of meta. Thank you for watching and as usual, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Most people don't even make it this far, so the fact that you made it, I appreciate it. And if you did enjoy what you saw, please think about subscribing and you can check out last week's video where I talk about the Dark Shadow Councilman and make an analysis of just whether he's OP or just a very powerful card. Also, thank you for your feedback from last week in regards to the new Hearthstone analysis video. I'm happy that you guys enjoyed it, and for the future, I intend to I intend to make more. I also intend to keep on improving the quality of them. Also, people, I want to ask you one I want to ask you one question. I really want to start start to do some streaming, but I want to get some more confirmation from from you guys. A couple of you over a couple of weeks have told me that you would love to see me stream. But the question I want to ask to everybody right now is: me streaming something you, you would enjoy? Could you see me streaming? Is something that you would want to watch? So again, for feedback, I only got this one question. And again, even if you don't comment usually, just a yes, Ben, I would like to see you stream. No, Ben, I don't want to see your face on stream. Would, would be wonderful. Just give me some feedback. Again, thank you guys for your support, for your passion, and for your heart. Damn! I'm pumped up, boys and girls. Damn! Woo! I hope my neighbors won't hear me. <laughs> but either way, people, I will see you next week. Adios.